Jenny, have you always uh, written your own songs, even when you were very small, or did you, did you start off performing other people's material? Um, when I was seven, I, I took piano lessons, um, mainly because I had this urge to, to write music. And recently I found an old scribbler that I had written primitively. I'd written out uh, left and right hand piano for a song called Robin Walk. So I guess I wrote my first song, instrumental, at seven and a half. And then it was many years until it occurred to me to, to um, write anything. So who were your early influences? Who were the people that inspired you to start writing again? Um, I think it was, it was Bob Dylan, really, who, uh, not during the Woody Guthrie period of his work, but, but uh, Blonde on Blonde, Highway 61, that period. Um, it occurred to a lot of us then that you could sing the scribblings that you had in notebooks, like uh, the private poetic scribblings, um, uh, up until the point that, that his work began to inspire me. I, I sang British Isles folk ballads, um, Ewan McCall songs, Judy Collins' repertoire, and at that point was, was, it was just a hobby. You know, I, I was a, an amateur folk singer in art college. What do you think of Big Yellow Taxi then, 15 years on? It's a nice little ditty, you know, it's fun to get into. People like it, you know, so it's, uh, it's one of my arbitrary jukebox tunes. You've changed it a bit over the years. Yeah, I keep rewriting it. I rewrite a lot of things to bring them up to date. If you believe what you read in the newspapers, over all the years that you've been in this business, you've had a lot of very, very close relationships with the people you work with, uh, be they personal or very intense working relationships. Are they very important, those things, in, in creating the music you've made over the years? <clears throat> uh, in order to get the right spirit into the music, there's got to be um, more than a working relationship. It, there has to be a, a sense of passion about it. Um, you know, to make an ideal communication, you know, to get close to the truth of anything, you have to be able to address yourself to at least four spirits. You know, there has to be something there for the heart. There has to be something there for the intellect. There has to be something there for, for sensuality and sensation. And there has to be some wit, you know, something, some things that are direct hits, and brief and, and clear. And um, if you get the right amount of those vegetables in the, into the broth, you know, then it, it's satisfying to me personally.